Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're doing a demographic or consumer analysis of a particular region, Simply Map's a great tool for that. This video is going to show you how to use Simply Map to create what's called a ring study to get uh, demographic variables for a one mile, three mile, and five mile radius, as well as looking at consumer interest or consumer graphic information as well. So it allows you to create a map, to create a table, all kinds of good stuff. This video is a little bit longer than um, some of my usual videos. It clock in about seven minutes or so. So please bear with me because it's a little bit complicated topic, but hopefully it helps you. So when you arrive at Simply Map, what you're going to do is uh, there's all kinds of options. I'm actually going to go click on New Tabular Report. And what I want to do is create a ring study report, which is going to create a demographic analysis of a target area based on one, three, and five mile radius around a location. And this is going to be pretty neat because it's going to allow us, allow us to map variables as well. So I'm going to click on ring study report. And then what you can do is click on the launch ring study wizard. It's probably the easiest way to do this. And first ask is for a location. So I'm going to do locations. And for my example, I'm going to do a city. I'm going to do um, Missouri, and I'm going to do Kansas City. Then you click on Use This Location. And next, it asks us to add some variables. And I'm going to click on Variables there. And I'm going to start looking at some census data. And let's just say we're interested in people and household information and some population information. If we want to, we can drill down about in a variety of places. What I'm actually going to do is click on Use All Variables here and it's going to put the variables there uh, for us uh, once it loads the data there. Okay, if you want to add more variables, you can go back and click on variables. And let's say if you're interested in uh, by race, you can actually click on use all variables there if you want to do that. Uh, let's go under age and let's just do use all variables total for age. And then what you can also do, um, if we close that, it's going to add our our variables there again, so we get age information, things like that, once it loads the data for us. Okay, so we have percent population and age groups, things like that on a one mile, three mile, five mile radius compared to all of the USA. I want to also put in some, some other kind of things, uh, some interest in uh, athletic activities or interest in attending sports events, things like that. So I'm going to click on variables and this time I'm actually going to go down and click on search. So we want to, if we can go, go in and actually search for NFL, for example. The search for NFL gives us a lot of different results. If we scroll down, we see, you know, who watched NFL today on TV, things like that. What I'm interested in is scrolling down to see a little more down below here. Keep going. So here is percent entertainment leisure, sports interest, somewhat interested in, in the NFL. Um, I'm going to use that variable. I'm also going to use the uh, uh, use this little bit variable. And you can kind of see where it, it gives you a path here. It says entertainment leisure, uh, sports interest last 12 months. Um, and this is in the Simmons local uh, uh, content there. So what we can actually do is go back to um, variables and then look at Simmons local go under entertainment leisure go under sports interests and then this is sports interest last 12 months and you can look and see let me move this over a little bit all the different categories that you can look at so let's say we want to look at um, uh, not only uh, National Football League, but maybe Major League Baseball as well. So we can click on that. And so here are percent, uh, let me minimize that a little bit there so we can see. Percent, uh, somewhat interested, we can use this variable. Uh, percent, a little bit interested, use this variable. Uh, percent, not at all, use this variable. Uh, percent, very, very interested, use this variable. And now once we close this, all of our um, information is over here in our table. Okay, if we scroll down, we got a lot of variables to look at here. If we scroll down, um, so here is percent someone interested in um, uh, National Football League. Um, let's say we're looking at 
percent who are very interested in National Football League. Or actually, here we have a percent very interested in Major League Baseball. What we can do now is create a map of this variable. And once the data loads, it's going to populate the data and uh, look at the, uh, not only look at the city limits there, um, but go out and do a, a ring study around, um, um, around, uh, uh, to show you how much interest there are in some of the outlined zip codes. Right now we're looking at zip codes, but we can actually go out and look at counties if we wanted to. And it'll refresh that way. So different ways to, to find the same kind of information. So a variety of things you can do here now. Uh, what you can do is actually go, if you don't like the red and pinks, you can edit the legend here and change the colors to different colors if you like to do that. Uh, you can also go up and do actions, export map as either a GIF or a PDF to save it to a PowerPoint uh, file uh, or that sort of thing if you want to put it into a PowerPoint or another type of presentation. Great way to do that to get your data that way. So that's one way that you can actually use Simply Map uh, to do what's called a ring study for a particular demographic area. So a great resource and a great tool. Hopefully this helps you understand how to use Simply Map to create a ring study and to create a map from that ring study. If you need more help, look for the contact link on my business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care.